The 2013 Student One Act Festival has arrived. We have six one acts. They're all student written, all student directed. In this video, we're just going to show you a couple people who are involved, whether they directed, wrote the one of the one acts, or they're actually performing in it. You guys have to come see these shows. It's five dollars a ticket. Tickets are going a half an hour before the show actually starts, so make sure you're there. Now let's see what some of these cool kids have to say. Go. Hi, I'm Melissa Bowling, or Melissa Marguerite, and I wrote Not Her Best Moments and Up From Below. Awesome. So how did you, how were you inspired to write these two plays? Um, Up From Below is it's like a parade of stereotypes, so just witnessing stereotypes in your everyday life. And Not Her Best Moments is more about violence in relationships and violence against yourself. Have you seen them yet? Yeah, I have. Are you proud of the work that they're doing? Yeah, they're so good. They're both my babies and they're both very different. Is writing something you want to pursue in the career or is that just a hobby of yours on the side? Uh, it's something that I would like to pursue in as a career. <laughs> Two shows out of six that you wrote, so I'm saying you're on to a good start. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Casey Donnelly, and I will be in two One Acts this year, Not Her Best Moments and Wine and Entertainment Provided. Fabulous. So can you tell us a little bit about Not Her Best Moments? Not Her Best Moments is a story about five women, or four women and one man, the lovely Tyler Calhoun. These five people are going to be leaving abusive relationships, whether it's self-abuse or abuse from a spouse or partner. The show is really, really great. Um, it's very poetic, it's written very well. Um, Kelsey is our director and she has been fabulous. It's been quite a different kind of experience because I've never done anything quite so serious with such important subject matter. So I'm really excited. That's awesome. Thanks, Casey. Thank you. Hi, my name is Derek Ridge. I'm directing Wine and Entertainment Provided. I'm Gage DeAngelis. I am in Wine and Entertainment Provided. I'm acting in Wine and Entertainment Provided. Wine and Entertainment Provided, it's the story of these two elite, uh, w very wealthy men. It's kind of based in the future. We, the economy is either you're, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. There's no middle class, it seems. These two rich men decide to play a game with these two uh, lower class. Ooh. My show is about testing the, the limits of essentially humanity. It's finding out when that breaking point is, because everyone does eventually have a breaking point. Everyone has a limit. And they should come to this show. Yes. Because? Because the cast is great, Derek's doing a great job directing, I think it's going to be an awesome show. My show and everybody else's show is going to be really awesome. It's going to make you laugh, going to make you cry, <laughs> probably going to make you feel things you've never felt before. And see. <laughs> So I am here with Jameel Powers. Uh, the one act that I'm directing is Death of America's First Woman President. Death of America's First Woman President. It's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. There's, you, you're you going to go watch half of it, and then at the second half, you're going to be so blown away that you're going to go, I want to watch this again. It's kind of like the surrealistic journey of uh, the main character, whose name is Joe, and he loses his daughter. Um, in a car accident. It's kind of like his journey of kind of dealing with that and coping with that. So, I don't want to give too much away, so just come see the show. Yay! <laughs> Go see it! <laughs> My name is Anton Coyton and I am directing Cecil and Murphy. Hi, I'm Helena. Um, I'm in the show Cecil and Murphy. The show is basically about a guy who's getting ready for a blind date. And so this drunk girl off the street just walks in, um, her name's Murphy, and like thinks it's her apartment. Things start to go wrong when some drunk lady comes out of nowhere and just crashes his apartment, his best friend comes over, and it's just a night of chaos. Well, the entire time I was just trying to figure out how to get this girl out before Riley shows up, who was my character. She's really a psycho. Like, she like Facebook stalked him, we checked his credit score. She's really Jersey, like, oh my God. She would remind me of a Snooki kind of type deal. So is the whole thing a comedy? Yes, it, it is a comedy. And what's it like directing? It's been a challenge, but it's been fun. The script is easy to work with. 
and it's my type of humor, so it just came natural. So everyone needs to come see it just so you can be all guidos and guidettes. Hey there, my name is Michael Herman. I wrote Flawless Hashtag The Internet Play. Hello, I'm Corey Trombley and I am the boss in Flawless. It sort of represents a lot of the social networking that happens in this world. Uh, the show is about two hitmen who are, well a hitman and a hit woman, who are fairly terrible at their jobs. One's pathologically aggressive and one's narcoleptic, and they're trying to kill somebody and everything goes wrong. It's a comedy, um, and so it's a, it's a really high energy piece. There's lots going on, but but on, and, it's, and it's more like deeper level. It is a critique of like the social networks that exist. So is it a dark comedy, or is it all comedy, or is it serious? Comedy with death. Comedy with death. Okay. I don't even think we. I don't think we call it a dark comedy. And tell everyone to come see it. Come see this comedy with death. <laughs>